fitted on the lower half of the diaphragm bundle, which are used for sliding the bundle on instead of the metal when fitting the diaphragm bundle in the compressor casing. The diaphragm bundle is now installed in the compressor casing. What you can see here is the track which supports and guides the diaphragm bundle as it is being installed in the casing. The track has to be jacked at the free end. A special bracket with a wheel and stand is used to keep the bundle horizontal and parallel to the axis of the casing. A hydraulic jack with a movable support is used to push the bundle inside. The support is fixed to the track, leaving space for the jack to be fitted between the support and the bundle. And now all the tools used to install the diaphragm bundle are being removed. Now the suction and discharge end head covers are being fitted. This operation has to be done with great care to avoid damaging the balancing drum labyrinth seal installed on the head covers. Hence the reason for special lifting tool being included among the special tools. It's also used for centering the head cover with respect to the casing and therefore in relation to the rotor. Once the head cover is in place, by means of two side brackets bolted to the casing, two jacking screws are tightened to shift the head cover into the casing. To secure in position the head covers, round segments are used. First, internal segments are installed. To carry out this operation, a special lifting tool is required. We are now showing the installation of internal locking segments. To secure them in place, locking screws are used. We're now showing the installation of external locking segments. To secure them in place, locking screws are used. 
After the head covers have been tightened, the end labyrinth seals are fitted. Both seals are lodged in the head covers. The labyrinth seals are fixed by a sequence.